I'm Hallie Levant, and this is Mega, coming to you from Twin Hills Community Church, where every single week we're giving our mega church a tiny family feel. Oh, we love to introduce you to members of our church staff, people from our community, and I always find it to be a treat and a treasure. And per usual, I'm joined by my co-host. He's the youth pastor for our high school ministry called Climax. Please welcome Gray Haas. JC, for you and me, Hallie, how are you? Too blessed to be stressed and too anointed to be disappointed. Well, just like David danced before the Lord in the Psalms, our guest today is bringing a two-step, three-step, four-step waltz. I don't know all of it. Please welcome the praise dance leader. Wait, I'm going to set that up again. Um, our guest today leads the Into Him praise dance team. It is my true pleasure to introduce Vanity Hagland. How you feeling today, Vanity? <laughs> Oh my God, I'm feeling so blessed. I'm so honored to be here. I'm like vibrating. And when oh, I'm vibrating, wow. that means the spirit is with us. And oh. so, I mean, I'm sure he's already with y'all, but for real, it's happening. I'm feeling it. It's it's <laughs> dipping into my pelvis. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Whoa, the spirit moves. Well, dipping Woo. into the pelvis is actually where I wanted to start today because I know that one of the main things that you all show us up there on stage is that you can actually praise, dance, and not really use the pelvis. Isn't yeah. that right? Yeah, that's right. We're really working on isolating a lot of what we call problem areas. And okay. it's not problem areas like maybe Oprah would have said or something. It's areas that could just, you know, lead you straight to the gates of hell. So <laughs> what we try to do is a lot of finger work above yes. our shoulders. Yes. Okay. And that's been so fun. It, you can be so expressive and it is still exciting you know, to look at, but we just isolate a lot and we'll spend hours, you know, in rehearsal. And if you came in, you'd think, what the heck? They're not dancing, you know, look closer. Okay. Okay. So, okay. That is dance what you're doing. Yeah. Everything is dance is the thing. As long as there's a costume and music, it is dance. Oh, really? Wow. I did not know that. That mm -hmm. is awesome. And, I, you know, I know it is problematic that we have these bodies underneath our heads and that, yes, you know, these true. bodies want to drag us straight to hell. And mm. all of our body's desires are, you know, evil and going to end up getting us just, you know, with the hounds of hell on our heels. And that's right. I feel like you keep it moving. The hounds of hell can't nip at <laughs> your heels because you're already stepping and, and moving and, and, and you're able to have rhythm without it tipping into the erotic, so to speak, or I don't know what it's called, the way, the stuff that happens in your hips. I, I mean, listen, I'm running as fast as I can, dancing towards the Lord. Yes. But I got into dance and it was um, not godly for me at first. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I was raised by ungodly people. Um, oh, really? Mm. I don't speak to them anymore. And then That's I... Right joined you know i'll start i thought oh jazz dance sounds fun um and it was fun until you know i was pregnant and oh no from the jazz from the oh. basically from the jazz okay i could go in but it was basically if there was no jazz there would be no jazz that is my daughter's name as you know um <laughs> she's so reform it was a blessing yes but as soon as the jazz exited my body you know it stayed out and i mean it sounds like the jazz was also in i mean i guess the jazz well, was in your body months. and then it yeah. yeah and then yeah it was when, when while you know i was still swaying when she was in there because it was mm. like what's the worst that could happen um but then afterwards i was like okay i had an epiphany at the birthing center um which was actually, it was just my grandma's house, but I did okay. have an epiphany after jazz came out. I was losing a lot of blood uh, and I passed out. Really? And then when I woke up, I just thought I got to change everything, you yes. know? And I started by isolating. Mm. And was epiphany the first, so was it twins? I, I'm sorry, it was one of the baby's names epiphany? I wish. Okay. Um, I do have a cat named Epiphany okay. and she's so cute and she is probably, I, I don't know if y'all talk about this stuff about pets in hell or anything. Do y'all ever? Oh, I think about this all the time because I'm a yeah, dog I don't person really think and about I got to have them with me in heaven or else it's not going to be heaven. 
I know, but I'm just having to resign myself because she's going to hell for sure. She's got these instincts, you know, she does uh-huh. these perverse things and talk about pelvis movement. I, mm. I don't know yeah. if you've watched a cat, but they will yeah. stick, you know, every hole six ways to heaven and uh-huh. I can't stop her. I put diapers on her. Mm-hmm. I try to tie her up a little because they, it's nice to be snuggled, mm-hmm. but um, I do think I have to look. I have to consider that the afterlife will not include epiphany. Mm. And maybe we need to consider the fact that cats, they might have really, as a species, sort of fallen prey to the evil one who makes them do these things like, you know, the female cats, they put their rear end up in the air. They sort of demonstrate what it looks like to really be asking for it, you know, and Mm -hmm. they give our teens ideas. I know. And, mm-hmm. and, you know, they say that cats are kind of female. I don't know if that's because they're felines or not, but, you know, females are very dangerous having these sexual bodies mm. that are the downfall of all good and upright men. I mean, I don't know if cats are okay. I, I, I never really thought of it as blunt as you just said it. But when you say that, I'm like, cats are not okay. Actually, mm. I got to get her out of my house. Um, she has diabetes, so I have to find someone that could give her shots. But I don't want her in my house. You know, um, I I believe in modesty in all ways. Yes, as you can probably see when I got the yes. team up there performing. Um, we wear the cylinders, you know, yes, because we don't. A silhouette is an invitation to your imagination, isn't right? It? I thought when you all were behind the scrim and there was just the silhouettes at first when the lights came up. And I thought it was a bunch of Teletubbies or something because it was oh, yeah. just like a I've very... I've heard Teletubby. I've heard uh, y'all were big te- paper towel rolls. What was that? <laughs> um, but what we're just trying to do is simplify the form so that we okay. can focus on the spirit moving through it instead of, you know, the devil and the rhythm. And what are the cylinders made of? What actually is that underneath the sweatsuits? Well, it's a lot of boxes, uh, Mm -hmm. tissue boxes, stuff like that. I have a lot of fun with this. Thank you so much for asking. Nobody's ever asked about the process. Um, I take waste, you know, and boxes, and I hose it all down in my garage with some beautiful music playing. I get it to a pulp. And then I form it myself. So it's actually been another beautiful, because not, not, I still get, I'm going to get really vulnerable right now. Um, oh. I still get cravings at night mm. to, oh. to, you know, be touching somebody or some oh, kind of no. thing. Yeah. And I just put it into the pulp now. And um, oh. those cylinders are all me working it out, you know. So when I see these kids with these, uh, pardon what I'm about to say, these beautiful little, you know, champagne cup breasts on their top and their, their little buttocks that just, uh, uh-huh. you know, the way they just mm-hmm. do that thing. That's so mm-hmm. cute. And I see mm-hmm. these young men mm-hmm. with, um, well, you know, the shape I'm talking uh-huh. about. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't, I, um, okay. I, I yeah. the shape I I'm really sort don't. of talking about sort of like a, a triangular man on the top and it narrows and then there's sometimes oh, yeah. okay. you know yeah a bulges and uh-huh I, a I denim gotta cover hammock it up mm-hmm. that's right that's right okay mm-hmm. <laughs> don't let us drink sangria together because <laughs> you can feel it right under the surface well i guess I, you know and as much as i want to talk about um that I, that i you know think that we've kind of covered that i do think that it's really interesting isn't it hallie just the metaphor that vanity is saying here which is she's taking old trash and paper and making it into pulp and making it into something new and isn't that exactly what jesus is doing uh in your life wow and i mean I'm, I'm guessing you're probably what 19 20 years old and that's right thank uh, you okay Give or take. <laughs> and, and and you're living you know as a single mom it's just you jazz and epiphany and you decided to go into your garage and make these things that ultimately are, are helping other people to praise the Lord. And I think that is awesome. It's like paper mache, these barrels that you're putting around people's bodies. And it's so good to cover up the curves. And I don't understand why God put these curves all over the female body, knowing that men are explorers. You know, they're going to see mountains I and mean, be like, I yeah. want to put a flag in that. Uh-huh. See? 
Yeah. You know what you could do is maybe we go down to Brown County where they make some of this winter ice wine and we buy some of their old like wine barrels. What are those <gasps> called? Those wine a barrel cask. Cask. A yes. cask. And we repurpose them and we put all the children's bodies into these wine barrels, um, you know, to totally cover up anything that you could possibly see, you know, that you shouldn't be looking at on a child. And that, that could maybe, you know, become the symbol of your dance troupe of into him i love that because i'm also thinking okay my main guy uh turn water into wine right See? Yes. what if we turn wine casks into in, purity to, barriers yeah yes. oh my gosh i have goosebumps i have god bumps i have god bumps vanity <laughs> what do you do your line again sorry i coughed oh, sorry. oh vanity i have god bumps this is a sign this is a sign this is the spirit moving wow but, but not moving too much right well i guess the spirit can move every which way right because it doesn't have a um curves or whatnot it's not got bulges or right it's just or you know um clefts yeah it's just an energy so the spirit yeah. can move but let's hold still and let our fingers do the praising <laughs> i think that is awesome and and i guess i i hope this isn't too personal but where did and and do you know that the baby you know that jazz is yours are you that you are the mother i mean uh, judging from the uh you know, that's a really interesting question actually no one's ever asked me that really? um okay because sometimes I've, I thought, you know, a lot of times people are confused with who the father is, but you, you seem like you definitely know who the father is. Um, I know who, I mean, I think, okay, when I think about it, I was the mother for sure. Okay. Um, okay. At first it sounded, maybe, maybe you got me thinking there. <laughs> Gray, you really got me thinking, but I did. It was me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Because you can do these tests these genetic tests yeah and i mean is the father just out of the picture i mean it just makes me so just disappointed you know when guys just do that mm. where they you know they 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 have a they have their fun they they uh they dance a little jazz and it turns into a baby and then they what i mean what is he doing now a sashay away i guess yeah. you know he was um I don't want to talk ill about Jazz's daddy because okay. Jazz is such a miracle. And okay. I've never met a more uh, eccentric baby. Um, and I, I think, you know, I don't want to ever, is besmirch a word? I don't want to do that to her daddy. But I, uh, he's, he is, um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of like a metaphor to say. Okay. But I can't, so I'll just tell you. He joined the ice capades, um, and oh. I don't. I I try to keep up with the tour schedule, um, just so I know. But he has nothing to do with jazz. He um, like he doesn't even care. And yeah. he had this whole weird thing about how I, you know, I got him. I like cornered him in the closet or whatever and oh. scared him and oh wow um and it's you know there's three sides to every story right uh my side and his side and then god's side and i i know what i know which is he was begging me to <laughs> you know get him in the corner um oh wow and oh no we've been partnered up for a, a pair dance and uh -huh. he could feel what i was feeling for sure so okay if you contact him and he tells you, you know, any kind of story about like me being scary or physically aggressive, that's the devil. It's all, it's not true. Oh. I mean, it's a tale as old as time, isn't it, Hallie? Just uh, a guy who runs away to the ice capades because mm -hmm. he doesn't want to deal with the ramifications it of his of his own day. family every day. And I, forgive me if this is too personal a question, but is he in Frozen? Because I saw that up at Morris Civic Auditorium, and it changed my life. I mean, that is a phenomenal show on ice. Is he in? For, is he? Uh, what's the guy's Gustav. name? Is he Gustav? Uh, is he Gustav in Frozen? Um, he is in Frozen. Oh. Uh, he's not Gustav. Um, you know those little trolls? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The little wood trolls. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so he is a diminutive um, dancer and skater just physically as it is, huh? He's got to be, but what, 5'2"? I, I didn't 
it's not just because I'm taller than him that I got him. You know, that's he's spinning that narrative too. It's like this hot size difference. Yeah. But you're he's very the tall. man. Yeah. I'm yeah. Tall, I'm leggy and um, you're leggy. Yeah. You know, and you're, and you're tall on the top too. You have a tall top and a tall bottom. A torso y and leggy and yeah. heady too. Yeah, my very neck, tall head. Very my neck tall. alone is about very, a it's foot. all long. Very yeah. tall, very tall forehead, very tall neck. Yeah. And Jazz, I feel like, is going to be great because it seems like she's sort of, you know, meeting in the middle. Um, long, yeah. but not too long, and not like her daddy's little bitty size. Um, How old is Jazz now? Jazz is three. Oh, can we see a picture? Yep. Oh, oh wow! Oh, okay. Oh, she's never a seen a kid costume. look like that, right? No, that is a very eccentric three-year-old. Yeah. I know. I've we never get seen anybody on co- the street. Oh, and so, does she always carry the fedora and the little cane? Well, she always carries things. I'll put it okay. like that. Um, a lot of times, it's a fedora and a cane. But you know, I have her in the cylinder all the time, so mm-hmm. she's got to accessorize with things that go way further out. So she's also yes. had some crutches that bedazzled for her um and just a lot she's a lot of fun and her eyes as you can see are just yes. piercing yes i mean really this could just burn a hole right through you <laughs> oh no yikes <laughs> you know, sometimes i'll wake up because i feel <coughs> like somebody's you know burgling and uh-huh. um there's jazz on the windowsill just oh really Jazzing out, I call it. It's uh, spooky, but so cute, too. I just love her, and I'm never scared of her. Well, children are a gift from yeah. God. Amen. I mean, Amen. I mean, I, but that would be like a it. bit scary, wouldn't it, Hallie, if, you know, you're fast asleep, and you wake up, and you see a child, you know, on a windowsill doing, yeah. doing, you know, staring at you with eyes like that, um, and doing, doing some, some jazz dancing or something. I think that would be very, uh, unnerving. Well, parenting is an adventure. Uh, it's not you know, for the weak of heart. I'll tell you that. See, much. in <clears throat> that right. I mean, and, and, or, or, or any, and for anybody who likes sleep or sanity, frankly, not for you, not nope, for you. Mm-mm. No, it's just, it's mayhem. It's, um, what it does to the woman's body, too, as oh, well as to God. her psyche, you know? I mean... Your pile well, of rubble. Honestly, um, I've never wanted to, uh, you know, be a mom, uh, yeah. but it still comes super natural to me, uh, and I'm... Ooh. Real good oh, like, at it. Like a ghost. It's supernatural. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh my God. I didn't mean like that, y'all. Oh, okay. I do not believe. Only I... ghost I believe in is the Holy Ghost. Okay. Oh, See, that's good. Exactly right okay, now. good. Because yeah. I was like, oh, I was thinking of that that hilarious movie, Ghost Dad. And I was like, oh, maybe it's like Ghost Mom or something. No, I'm just regular old vanity. Okay. Well, Vanity, I did want to ask you, you know, um, we do have Into Him, I saw is on the calendar coming up, and you all Big are doing show. a little, uh, wait, when is St. Patrick's Day? Is that this? March 14th or something? March. Okay. March, Oh, good. Yeah. This is, okay, good. Um, you know, uh, I did see that Into Him is on the calendar coming up with what looks to be like a big St. Patrick's Day awesome. uh, presentation dance during during the services. And I just, I, I, of course, I'm I'm curious as to what you've got all those those minions dressed up as or whatever <laughs> you're going to you're going to call them uh, this time. And um, uh, for the St. Patty's Day uh, dance. Well, um, I wasn't going to spill the uh, shamrocks, <laughs> um, but I'm so excited about this show. Uh, I don't think that enough people bring St. Patty's Day into church, and yep. yeah. um, and when they do, it's more about, you know, St. Patrick or like this mm. kind of, instead of what we like, which is the leprechaun. Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. And, the magic of the season because yep. i believe as i know most christians do that leprechauns are little earthbound angels Ooh. from the other side you know um Ooh. by the other side i mean ireland or mm. scotland or yeah. any of those other lands and so i got the kids are you are you even ready for this <laughs> i love it i got the kids dressed up they're all wearing um sort of lightweight i got it from halloween the spirit halloween uh uh-huh. a- after 
after Halloween, you oh. can get some really amazing bargains. So discounts, I bought all these yep. discounts. I got these big old plastic cauldrons. Oh. And I've cut the bottoms out. So all the kids, instead of the cylinders, they're all going to be pots of gold. Okay. Oh. And I'm going to be doing finger thing. dancing with ribbons because I'm going to be creating the rainbow with my oh. fingers. And they're all the pots of gold under the rainbow. And then at the end, I'm going to cover myself well i'm gonna try to get steve in on this i don't know if he will or not oh, that'd um, be awesome it'd be so awesome if he'd play a part i would love for him i think i've been looking up in the rafters at church i think we could do a bunch of bucket rigging um i've done that oh. before for like a splash watery dance kind of thing when i was doing jazz but i want at the end of this so the i'm the rainbow right the kids are flowing and praising we've got all the little pots running around and then we fall to our knees and are drenched in the blood of the spirit Oh, wow. What a St. Patty's That's, Day message. Oh, uh, and, and the symbolism is just, it, it abounds, is. you know, because children are just little pots of gold. They're p just pure potential. And, you know, besides being, you know, born utterly depraved with this awful sin condition, besides that, mm -hmm. they're just perfect little, you know, pots of gold. And um, I think it's cool to incorporate uh, St. Patty's Day into the church calendar because it does get overlooked. And, you know, what i think ireland and south bend indiana are both very godly places because even though ireland is a little catholic and that's you know sort of misguided there's thing. Yeah. there's yeah. still jesus there even though you know uh, they're it's like of. close but no cigar right but um, i think it's all i think the whole catholic church is gonna uh switch it up soon i do feel that oh cool. really jesus, oh this is I good think, to know i think i'm just getting messages i do get messages i'm thinking jesus is gonna blow up that whole situation and just oh, be like good. uh let's not talk about my mom anymore yes um, and make it about him so i do want to believe that the you know the catholics all over the place are just gonna yep. stop doing their their little hand dance right and just wow. start one finger up to god is it? Wow. I always think about that where it's just like, I think about, you know, Catholics, I think about Jewish people, I think mm. about um, Islam people, and I'm going, guys, all you got to do is just switch out whatever that thing that you've been thinking like, well, oh, you know, it's, it's not all that other stuff. It's one thing. It's Jesus, right? Uh -huh. And if it's you could so just easy. get that, it's, it's like so easy. Dumb. It's like they're so stupid. They can't even figure it out. I'm like, guys, it's right there. He's and calling you're so to you. Close. Right? You're, you're so, so close. close. You're yeah. getting together and you you got the right impulse, but you got the wrong guy. But right. Got the wrong guy. Yes. I'm so encouraged by your vision of the future and about uh, these uh, astray Catholics coming back home to the regular Christian evangelical fold. I mean, imagine I can see it now. The Vatican, instead of having all this old painting Ugh. and stuff, they can put Yuck. in some drum kits. Imagine what a, 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 a you know, Christian rock concert would sound like inside the oh vatican you know if you, could, you could put in laser lights you could put in you know um you, people swinging from the rafters and and you could turn it into a, an incredible modern relevant show that would point people straight towards christ if you got an av guy in there that could put up all the stuff big like on a big screen so yes. everybody's not all scrambling through their musty old books and they can yes. really rock out with the spirit i think yes. catholics might be like you know what this is fun yeah, yeah. Uh, there's something a bit more fun about this than what we've been doing let's yeah. oh we those... could have been doing this yeah. yeah this is church i, I mean, mean and if you think about your dance troupe i mean think about they've always got all those guys in red and black and white just kind of like with the pointy hats walking around and moaning and maybe you could have a bunch of kids you know dressed as like pots of gold jumping around and you know i, I think that's one thing that the catholic church probably needs way more of is some kids around there livening things up i mean let's get the pope out of those stuffy old robes get him into some thousand dollar ripped jeans you know oh. Oh, gosh. A and cool a leather jacket. Tea, a leather, leather jacket. jacket. With he a could... big cross on the back. And yes. then we can get all the kids just dancing for all yes. those men. Yes. Yes. Imagine the Pope putting on a thumb ring, maybe a, a hemp necklace or something. And Taking really... that stupid hat off and putting that stupid cool hat, hat on. I That's know. Right. I mean... 
Wow. If he, he dressed like Steve, could you imagine if the Pope dressed <sighs> like Steve? I mean. Uh-huh. It would change the world. Yeah. It, it would really change would change the world. the world. I might be that kind of Catholic, right? <laughs> See? That's right. Me too. <laughs> you know, I haven't brought it up in a while, but I do have, um, you know, I have a sponsorship that's been going on for a while with Riffy Boy. Uh, with a Riffy Boy jeans and Riffy Boy jeans are, you know, big on the big on the top, small on the bottom. And I think like if you could really imagine the Pope in a pair of Riffy Boys, wow. big, on the, big on the top, small on the bottom. And, you know, with discount code um, hashtag Riffy Boy um, uh, and with hashtag <laughs> sorry, and with discount code Riffy Boy, if you go to Riffy Boy dot US dot gov dot UK, then you can get a pair of Riffy Boy jeans for, you know, a discount for, I think it's $5 off. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. That's and a I'm, good and, and, discount and on some Riffies. Yeah. And that, and that is not a product placement that I'm just saying that I do I have a discount you were code. I moved by the spirit to say it and mm-hmm. bless yes. you for giving people a discount. I exactly. mean, when we want to say yeah. these things, that's the thing. People will call, you know, my name is Vanity. It's not lost on me. Okay. Uh, yes. People will call this stuff. They say, oh, you're just, you know, you're just strutting your own stuff. You're doing your own thing. Excuse me. I'm actually doing God's thing right now, and yeah. you're yeah. welcome. Yep. Yes. Yep. Exactly. I thought it was funny that I saw, I mean, I saw you driving through the parking lot, and I love that your license plate says plate. That is good. I, I wish I could take credit for thinking of that. <laughs> oh, who, who thought it up? Um, it was one of my teachers in high school. Uh, I didn't have an affair with him or anything, but that was just a joke he had made at one point. Oh, okay. oh, well, good thing not to have an affair with a, a high school teacher because, um, <laughs> actually, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> now, well, Vanity, you know, I think about your name as being, you know, well, one of the seven deadly I know. sins, I frankly. Know. That's a bummer. Yeah. Um, but you know what? Anything can be redeemed by Christ. And you know what? He might have been thinking about you while he hung on that cross, thinking about here mm. you are with this sin sounding name. And even you can be redeemed by the power of his blood. And, you know, speaking of um, phonetics or English linguistics, or I don't even know, but I just wanted to point out that your dance praise team is called Into Him. And because this is an audit- audio medium, I wanted to oh, point yeah. out that it's not Into to him like Mm-mm. h-i-m no it's into him like h-y-m-n and um because i don't that want was be- actually on purpose though so it does yeah. sound, oh, right. it sounds like into him mm. and that would be jesus and we are into oh. him don't get oh, me wrong yes, yes. but we thought it would be cool to have h-y-m-n as yeah. because it's also with music and with right. hymns yeah. and whatnot yeah well it's like you said any movement to music is considered dance as, yeah. if there's costumes if there's costumes, right. And, you know, it's okay for us to be into him, too. Because guess what? God is into you. You know, a lot of times you hear about things like, well, girl, he's just not in to you or whatever. Oh, yeah. Well, when it comes to God, he is. He's actually obsessed with you, girl. He's totally obsessed with you. I mean, girl, he, he might... is watching you all the time. Watching you all the time. He loves you so much. He thinks about you constantly. I mean, he 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 might be the divine creator of the cosmos. He might be a deity and you're just like a simple human female, but my gosh, he can't get you off his mind. I mean, he loves you so much that he killed someone just to be able to be with you and that's not a red flag in a relationship. No, that's, that's a good sign because he killed the right one you know that's right he knows every hair on your head he knows every curve of your body he is he is just thinking about you night and day hot and it can be hot that's another thing it can be hot yes yes and we can be into him because girl he is into you and that have you seen his body in those pictures okay oh Oh, he's red oh he looks great it's a triangle on top and i'm my top unfortunately up but taller (laughs) Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Sorry. It might also be, you know, everybody looks a little better when you have your arms outstretched like that. It kind of just, it does sort of like smoothen your torso, mm. you know, so it's, it's also a good pose, you know, to we get call some... it good lines and dance. He's mm. got oh, really good, good lines. Oh, I love cool. learning little, little, uh, industry phrases like that. Mm-hmm. Well, it's interesting because, you know, just speaking as a guy who, you know, I have a totally different relationship with Jesus. It, you know, for ladies, I think, you know, you're really wanting Jesus to almost be like a husband, mm-hmm. almost be like that partner Absolutely. that you can't yeah, get on yeah. earth. You know, for me, Jesus is my boy. You know, oh. when I ask Jesus to come into me, I'm just saying, Jesus, come into me. 
uh, be my be my bro, be my boy, be there. Be um, my homeboy. Yeah, be right there. <laughs> Have you ever heard and, that homeboy? It's so oh, cute. Oh, that is cute. Yeah, and, and Jesus is my homeboy. And so when he comes into me, I'm just going, you know, this is like, um, and I'm not sure if I mentioned him before, but my friend Clay Mason <laughs> Bannerman is, um, is, I would say, my best friend. And I tell Clay sometimes, Clay, uh, you know, you can be my best friend, but you don't hold a candle to Jesus. Wow. And he, How you know, does sometimes, he take that? you know, sometimes he, um, sometimes it's, it's a bit awkward and you have to tell that to you, to your closest friends, don't you? you I have tell to be... jazz all the time. I say, honey, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. <laughs> right. I, I love Jesus so much more than you. I have to tell her every day. And, um, I think that's given her a good foundation because, like I said, my parents were ungodly and they told me they love me and all this stuff. And it's like, you know what? That's actually a little messed up, lady. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you're I'm not God. I have to say that sometimes. I have to say, Jazz, get off the ceiling. You're not God. Oh, she can climb the ceiling. She can climb anything. 